How to hold and eat with chopsticks. Chopsticks are shaped pairs of equal length sticks that have been used as kitchen and eating utensils in most of East and Southeast Asia for over three millennia. They are held in the dominant hand, secured by fingers, and wielded as extensions of the hand, to pick up food. Allow us to open new culinary doors as we teach you to hold and use chopsticks, how to approach certain dishes with them, and how to follow proper dining etiquette as you chow down. Place the first chopstick where your index finger and thumb connect. Rest the thicker end of the chopstick in the crease between your thumb and pointer finger, where those fingers connect toward the base of your hand. Grip the second chopstick with your middle, index finger, and thumb. Hold the second chopstick in much the same way you hold a pencil. Use your thumb to press the chopstick against the second knuckle of your pointer finger. Move the top chopstick up and down with your index and middle fingers. Use your index finger to pinch the chopstick, and use your middle finger to push it back open. Practice opening and closing the chopsticks like this until you get a feel for it. Pick up food at a 45 degrees angle. There's no correct angle, but going at your food with your chopsticks close to parallel with the table helps grip your food and transport it safely to your plate, or your mouth. If a bowl of rice is placed in front of you and all you have are two small bamboo rods, you may feel like you're up a creek without a paddle. But it's perfectly acceptable to lift the bowl of rice close to your mouth and work from there when eating rice with chopsticks. When eating noodles with chopsticks, dip your chopsticks into the dish, then lift the noodles with the chopsticks parallel to the table, as though the noodles are cloves on a line. Then, don't hesitate to slap away. Pick up shared food with the thicker end of your chopsticks. Lay your chopsticks horizontally in front of your plate or bowl to avoid pointing them at other diners. Avoid placing them directly on the table, which might get the table a bit messy. Avoid passing food from chopstick to chopstick and other social taboos. Transferring food between chopsticks resembles a certain Japanese funeral ritual, and so it's generally not a welcome sight at the dinner table. In addition, avoid crossing your chopsticks into the shape of an X when you set them down which is a common signifier of death. Also, avoid leaving your chopsticks upright in bowls of rice or other food, since this resembles upright incense and recalls samba funeral settings. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more interesting videos.